Let's hit something world. This is AJ with Tips and Tricks. We've already covered the snare and bass drums in the last two episodes, and now it's time to set our sights on the rest of the drums. I have another issue, and that's my rack. If you have a rack system and want my tips for setting up, utilizing a rack, just drop me a line, and I'll do my best to drop that knowledge on you. When we're drumming, we want to work with our body, and our body doesn't work well with angles. I find that I work best in a semicircular, oval-esque movement around the kit. To get this, I line up the outer edge of my high-mounted tom with the middle of my snare. My lower-mounted tom is right in line with the high tom, and the outer edge of that drum is in line with the middle of my floor tom. I encourage you to air drum before you secure your drums in place to ensure that you'll be hitting your targeted areas comfortably without stretching too much. I aim for dead center on my toms because it's the warmest, deepest, and shortest tone. One last note for this episode, I like to have my snare and floor tom level with one another. This makes moving between the two particularly easy, and as I mentioned way back in episode 2, it puts my stick bag in the right area that's easily accessible on those rare... Oh, come now, boy. Don't be silly. Okay, fairly often occurrences where I mess up. Thanks for watching. Next week, we'll take a look at how to set up the symbols. Until then, live right, drum well, and have fun. I'm AJ Nystrom, and I'll see you next week.